Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this design right here. So this one says Nurse Bunny. I'm going to show you, you know, a lot of different variations and how you can go ahead and uh, make this your own. So if you are interested in learning about this, go ahead and stick around. So today we're going to make a very easy design. In effect, all we're going to do is sort of modify an existing design, which is the fastest and quickest way to do things. So I am on Creative Fabrica here, and I'm going to show you guys some cool uh, Easter designs. And so one style that I've noticed a lot of is sort of that arching university style text. And of course, they've done that with all sorts of different niches, including Easter. And so that is a really easy one to modify. And so one of the things I just wanted to show you is if I go ahead and just type in Easter here on Creative Fabrica, and we'll see what sort of comes up in our search, you will see tons and tons and tons of fun Easter designs. And here is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. This one here that says spring vibes, and it's just the different colors and it's the arching text. So any of these will pretty much work for what I want to do. So there is a spring one, and you will find there is a whole bunch here. There's one that says mama, and then this one's got some different, um, oh, what are those? I can't even tell. Some sort of uh, design inside of the letters, which is something like kind of what I want to show you guys today. So you're noticing a lot of that style there when I just do a quick search. And so just tons of those styles. And so the one I wanted to show you today, because they've got a whole bunch of that exact same one, would just be to go ahead and we're going to put something like Nurse Bunny. And let's see what comes up when I put Nurse Bunny. So there it is. Here is Nurse Bunny. And here it is. So this one's got a little bit of a grunge to it. This one's clear. This one's already got some designs in it. And so we can just sort of see the little bit difference here. This one's got the cutout version versus the solid version. And of course, any of these will do. So let's go ahead and let's just do this one right here. It's the solid one says Nurse Bunny. I can click on that. And then all I have to do is go ahead and hit download. And that will go ahead and download the design. And it will be saved as a zip file, by the way. So you will have to open up that zip file you are going to go ahead and find the Nurse Bunny PNG and go ahead and save that to your downloads. Now, once you've done that, we can go ahead and jump right back over to Canva and I can show you what I wanna do here. So now I am on Canva and what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and open up a blank page. I'm gonna go ahead and design this as a t-shirt. So we'll, do, ugh, we'll go to custom size. And I will select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels for a t-shirt. And we'll just go there. Now I'm going to be designing for a darker background. And so for Easter, maybe black isn't the best way to go, but something like a navy blue or dark purple, some of those work well for Easter, but still going with some of the darker color shirts here. So I'm just going to pick black as my background color. And what we're going to do is pull up the design that we just downloaded from Creative Fabrica. So to do that, you can go over to the left hand side of the page. You'll see the tab there that says uploads. You can go ahead and click on that. And then just click upload files. Make sure you're on your downloads. And then you can go ahead and just select your Nurse Bunny PNG that you just uh, downloaded. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I can bring it over right here and bring it up nice and big. So there we go, right there, piece of cake. Now, just so you guys are aware, if I was to go back over to Creative Fabrica really quick, you can see that this is used for commercial and full uh, POD usage allowed. What that means is I don't necessarily even have to change this. It's, a, you know, POD usage allowed means I can pretty much use as is. Now, I would never use as is. I always make changes because you want yours to be original but it is okay to use as is just in case you guys are curious though like i said i would always make some sort of a change to it so the first thing i'm going to do is this is a little bit darker um, than i would like in terms of colors so the first thing i really want to do is just edit the photo and make it a little bit lighter so i can go to where it says adjust and we can go ahead and bring that brightness maybe up a little bit make it a little bit brighter so that it pops 
a little bit more, something like that. So it looks just a little bit more, I don't know, Eastery, springy. Now you can always come down and play with your saturation and your vibrance. And, you know, if you really wanted it to be brighter, you could do that. If you wanted it to be a little bit more muted, you could do that. Some of the pastels sometimes look a little bit better, a little bit more muted. And so again, you can just sort of play with that until you feel like you have it looking more or less the way that you like, whatever you think would look the best. And so now that I have that, of course I can change the bunny. So if I wanted different bunnies, I could do that. I could always do an erase tool and just erase the bunnies and put in my own, but I'm gonna keep this really simple. So I'm just gonna leave everything more or less the same. And what I'm gonna do is download this. We're gonna use a clipping mask on it. Oops, so. And so we are going to go ahead and download this as a frame. So I'm just gonna title this Nurse Bunny Frame. And I'll go to the top right hand side where it says share. You go ahead and click on that. Go down to where you see downloads. Um, it is a frame, so I do need it to be a transparent background and a PNG, and I can just go ahead and hit download. And so now I have more or less my frame. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a mask, but I am not gonna do a solid mask. So I've showed you guys a lot of solid masks where I can just put one solid picture over the top and fill the whole space. I do like these colors, which is why I went ahead and made it a little bit lighter. I do wanna use all of these colors. I'm just gonna go ahead and put more of a pattern mask over the top of this. And so there's lots of fun Easter patterns that you can use. And so if we go over to the left-hand side again and go up to where we see elements, I can click on that. And then there's lots of different ways you can search for this. You can go Easter pattern, uh, seamless pattern. If you know you want eggs or bunnies or whatnot, you can do it that way. I'm gonna go with, just keep it easy. Let's go with seamless um, Easter egg um, pattern and see what comes up here. And I do wanna go with my graphics. And I am looking for something like this one right here, which you can see. So I'm gonna make it nice and big so that you can see it. But what it is, is just a clear pattern. So it's just got the white. So when you put it over the top, you would still see all the letters and everything through it. You would just get sort of those white eggs. And so I really like this one here. So what I would do is go ahead and shrink it down so that I can, you know, more or less see what I'm getting. And so if I was to zoom in here at the bottom, I can zoom in and you can see what the design would look like over at the top here. And so I can see how I would just get those little white egg pattern over the overall look. And so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna cover this whole thing up. So to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit my pattern and I'm gonna hit Control D, that will duplicate the pattern. And then I will line it up. Oop. Let's see if I can see where I'm lining things up. Right next to the other one. And then I can hit Control D. It should put it right in the same spot. Control D, it'll put it right in the same spot. If not, you can always line it up again. So now we're gonna hit it again, hit Control D. It'll make another pattern, another copy. And now I'm gonna line it up sort of that top to bottom thing there, something like that. And we'll hit Control D and I'm gonna bring it over. Again, lining it up. And I hit Control D a few more times and now I have covered this entire thing. This is going to be the mask that I put on here, okay? And so now when we're doing a mask, I can go up and retitle this, by the way, it says Nurse Bunny Frame. Let's just go ahead, Nurse Bunny Mask. I'm going to go ahead and hit Share, Download. It's a mask, so it does not need to be a transparent background. It can, it really doesn't matter one way or another. So I'm just gonna leave it alone and hit download. And once it is downloaded, what we're gonna do is jump over to Photopea. So if you haven't seen some of my other videos where I use this and I've used it a lot, this is just photopea.com. So all you have to do is put photopea.com into your browser. This page will come up. It is totally free. You don't have to create an account, nothing, just photopea.com into your browser, you'll get this. The center button here says open from your computer. If you click that, it will pull up your downloads. And then what you're gonna do is start with your Nurse Bunny frame. And so you can open that. And it should pull up a page that looks like this that has your Nurse Bunny frame. And then from here, we're gonna go to the top left-hand corner where it says file. Go ahead, click there. And about three spaces down, you'll see one that says open and place. If you click that, it should pull up your downloads again. And from there, you can go ahead and select the one that says Nurse Bunny Mask. 
And so now you should see your Nurse Bunny mask. And so if your page looks like mine, great. What you should see is the mask on top. And if you go over to the right, you'll see these two layers here. The one on top is your mask, and it's also the one that's highlighted. And then on the one on the bottom says background, that is your frame, it is not highlighted. Assuming your page looks like mine, go up to the top again, go over to where you see layer, click on layer, and then about halfway down, you'll just see one that says clipping mask. Click there and that's all you have to do. And now it has put the clipping mask right on top of your nurse bunny. From here, all we have to do is export. So you can go up to the top left-hand side again, hit file one more time. About halfway down, it'll say export as, and then you can go over to where it says PNG. And it should pull up a page or a little box that looks like this. You can retitle it here too. So this says nurse bunny frame. So it's just titled whatever you had originally selected. So I can just go ahead and put nurse bunny um, pattern, whatever I want to title it. Everything else should be the same and I can just hit save. And from there, we'll just jump right back over to Canva again. And so now here I am on Canva. I'm going to go ahead and pull my pattern off of here so that you can see. I don't even need to save this. Matter of fact, I'm just going to get rid of it all together. And what we're going to do is pull up the download we just made. So again, you can go to the left hand side of your page. You can hit the upload tab, hit upload files and select the file that says nurse bunny pattern. There we go. And then you can just go ahead and click on that, close this. And there you would have your design right there. And then you can resize it however you want. If you wanted to add anything to it, you could. If you wanted to do sort of like an outline or whatnot, again, you could. So let's say I wanted to take this and just playing with it around, like playing with it. I can go to edit photo. Let's say I wanted to throw an outline around it, for example. Let's say we wanted to go with that white. I can go ahead. Whoop, that's really bright. Bring that size way down there. And I mean, you, you can see how I can play with this to make no outline, a little bit of an outline, super big outline, and no outline is fine. Um, I actually think it probably looks better with no outline, but just so that you can see how you could potentially add a little bit more white to that if you wanted to, you certainly could. And that's at a three, if I brought it up to a four, now it's really white. We do start to lose a little bit of I guess the detail here when we do that. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm not gonna go with any shadow, but I wanna show you that you can. And of course here, if you wanted to, you could still go to adjust and let's say that, hey, I decided I wanted it to be a little bit more saturated. I could still pop some saturation in there too. Or let's say I wanted it to be a little bit more contrasty. I could still you know, bring that contrast up a bit. And so there's still lots of room for you to play with it. But well, let's say this is how you want it. It's ready to go. You've made whatever alterations you need to. When you're ready to throw it on a shirt, we just go to share. We download. It is a transparent background. It is a PNG. If you were to hit download right now, it is ready to go. And it is ready to go on a shirt or whatever you want to put it on. And that was really fast. And so this is a very popular style right now. That sort of university style. Easter is coming up next month. And this can be scaled out quite a bit because there are all sorts of variations of the same thing where all you might do would be to put some sort of a mask on it to make it your own. And so all, all different ways to play with it. But I wanted to show you this was just a really simple, easy way to come up with a lot of designs quickly. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comments section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well with your quarter one sales, and I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.